Shoot. You had to be uh, pretty excited to see some of your young guys and how they performed. Yeah, that was that was fun to see. Obviously, um, Cam, you know, he's he's been coming on strong in the last couple of weeks, and he had a chance for a clean rush, and he finally won. But it's been four or five times he's 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 had to, that kind of rush and hadn't won. But um, it was fun to watch him win. Maje played some. Um, obviously, his natural ability shows. You know, he's got to be more detailed in his job, but the ability's there. He's he's a prototype. Um, Zavin, obviously, getting better each week. He played. Played well, he had a big, uh, big day as far as production. So it's coming along. Um, obviously, you know every week is different. It's a big challenge on Thursday night, but the young guys are coming along. The spark. Um, I'm not sure if it was a spark, but you know Zavin's always been a very intentional, you know, player. I mean, he, he wants to be good. It took it took some time, obviously, you know, to be a Mike backer in this league and to call his defense with. You know, with the volume that we have on game day, it's, uh, it's tough, you know, but he's a smart guy. He wants to be good, and I'm not sure what clicked, but I think it's just time, you know, time on a job. You know, I mean, you need it. Young guys don't get time to grow these days, you know. You want them to walk in and be, you know, five-year pros, but it doesn't work that way. You know, it takes time for guys to grow into those roles, and as a coach, you've got to balance between winning games and growing young guys. You know, I have, I have one job a week to win one game, so I'm playing the best player I can play to win a game. But uh, Zayvon's doing well, and he's coming along, uh, you know, fast right now. With a guy like Cam, down the road, does it does his <coughs> role change at all? Do you see him always being an edge guy? Do you see him being more uh, free technique? Well, he's in, in college. He was he was both. Um, you know, obviously his his role right now is a wheel backer, and that's that's a rusher for us. But hopefully, he can grow into being an inside rusher. You know, with his size and his explosion, but. Right now, he's got one task, that's to go to the edge and rush. You know, but hopefully in the future, he can slide inside and help us rush inside because that's always a key part to have a guy to rush inside to push the pocket versus scrambling quarterbacks especially. You know, so Cam's done that before in his past, so hopefully he can grow into that role for us. You, you mentioned young guys and, of course, trying to win games. Sure. How hard of an evaluation sometimes is it in terms of knowing if you put a young guy on the field, then right. they might be a mistake or something sure. like that? Balance by that guy might be able to make plays. To help Absolutely, him. and that's tough for a coach, you know. And obviously, it's it's where you are in the season. It's 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 who's playing in front of those young guys. But they've got to play to get better, obviously. But the you know the question for a coach is you know is it is it worth those four, four or five plays to win or lose the game? Obviously, that's a balancing act for a coach, you know. And it, it's it's tough. It's no good answer for it. You know, it, it, it's, it's, it's week to week. It's player to player. You know, some guys get it quicker than others. It takes some guys longer, but once they get it, they get it and they play well. But I think with Cam and, and Zavin and um, Isaiah and, and uh, uh, Sanders, it's, it's been a good timeline. You know, it, it, it's, it's been on their terms, I should say. You know, and that's, that's what you want as a coach. You know, some guys play too early and they have failure. And, and never come back to you. You know, it's good players, and some guys, you know, they, you know, it takes them a while, and they play good and always play good for you. So it's a it's a balancing act for a coach. So now that the game's over, what was the key in not letting Tyler Lock and DK Metcalf wreck the game and, and beat you? That was the plan. You know, with 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 balancing stop and Walker. You know, I knew Walker was a special player, and that's that's going to be a task for a long time to get him stopped. I mean, he's a special back, and the more he plays, the better he's going to get. Obviously, a young guy, right? But um, he made us miss in the, you know, in the box you know, four or five times, and he had two big runs early, and he made four guys miss. You know, so he's going to be a task in the future. But it's always a balancing act between you know, playing shell and stopping those guys and loading the box to stop a guy like Walker. You know, and Geno's playing so good right now. It, it, was, it was tough to balance it. But you know, Murph had some one-on-ones with DK. He won. Yeah, that's huge for us. You know, and obviously Marco won some one on ones also early in the game. So that's that's always a good thing to win one on ones when you're called upon. And then obviously on third third down and longer downs we can play more shell and help those guys. But it's a bouncing act on game day. Do you get a read on uh, what you're gonna see out of the Saints quarterback situation? I don't, you know, but it's a it's a run first offense, you know. So if it's Andy or it's Jameis, it's a run first offense. The offensive line has been built, you know, with money and with draft picks. And they're very good. They're very well coached. The uh, backs are really good backs. You know, with Kamara being a top five guy in my opinion, and uh, Ingram being a, a guy who runs downhill. 
You know, so it's a, it's a run first offense. So whoever plays quarterback, their system to win won't change in my opinion. Um, so we'll see, you know, it doesn't matter to us who plays, we just gotta do our job and, and play our best on Thursday. A couple weeks ago though, they had Taysom Hill doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah, and he's still doing those same things. I mean, he had 200 yards rushing like in Seattle and like four touchdowns. So that's, that's a problem because he can throw the ball. So it's not really Wildcat. You know, it, it looks like Wildcat, it presents that way sometimes, but he's also playing tight end. He's also playing some slot receiver, I guess they call it. But um, he, he's a chore, you know, to have a plan to stop him as a runner and as a thrower. You know, I mean, you can't always load it up and play across the board zeros with the quarterback run game because he, he can't throw the football. So we'll see how it uh, comes out on Thursday. Do you view him as more of a, I guess, a running back right now? Because he's not really doing a ton of the pass catchers. Yeah. He's still getting a lot of work in the run game. It's on tape, though. You know, against uh, Seattle, he threw a touchdown. He took a shot against the Bengals last week in midfield, you know, so you can't disrespect his, his arm. He's played quarterback in the past and it's on tape. So again, it's a balancing act between loading the box for the run game and, and playing shell for the pass. But his quarterback run game is tough because he adds a gap, you know, so you can't account for a quarterback unless you bring the safety down out of the post. And that's a problem. And teams have done that. He's thrown the ball over their heads. So we got to see what happens on Thursday and see if we can get a stop. Given the fact that uh, <clears throat> so many teams and so many players have been through short weeks, yeah. that's what this league is about. Is is a short week now just about the physical well-being of the players and, and getting them prepared in that way, or is there still a, a mental hurdle that teams have to get over in preparing for a short week? I think it's a mental deal. You know, I mean, you have to embrace the short week. Everyone's sore. Everyone has injuries. I think your system has to be, as a coach, really good. You know, you have to have some staples in your pack that, that, that works against every scheme. That's important, but I think it's mental for players. They're sore, and I mean, it's Tuesday today. We play in two days, you know, so the, the soreness don't go away until like Friday or Saturday, you know. So, you know, both teams are sore. Both teams have injuries, and it, it's, it's about embracing the week and having, having a weekend off and winning, you know, hopefully having a chance to win games, you know, two games in 10 days. But we lost the first one, obviously, so a chance to win one in two days here. But... um. For players, it's mental. It's tough, you know, because they're sore and they're after a win and never right until probably a Friday, you know. So it's a it's a mental uh, mental battle, you know, to be ready physically and mentally for a game like this. It's going to be a physical Thursday night, you know. Both teams are two and four, and both teams need this win. So it's going to be a a rough and tough game on Thursday. You mentioned the Saints' offensive mm -hmm. line, and as you prepare for other teams, mm -hmm. look at the offense. Sure. How, how crucial is that for teams a lot of times, especially that, yeah. that where the line just starts at all, where problems can be traced to prevent other guys? That's always your starting point on offense, in my opinion, is the offensive line because now, now you can dictate the game. You know, if you can run the football and play action pass and you know, run and get four crack, that, that allows you to dictate the game. You know, if you can't block people up front, you can't play offense in this league, in my opinion. Um, offensive line, defensive line is always critical. You know, playing good on both sides of the ball. That's where it starts. You know, it's a big man's game, and to control the game, it starts up there. Sure. Let's just take it some heat from how the offense has been going here early on. I guess why does what he does work so well in the NFL? Do you think the criticism is unfair for him, given that this team has improved every year in five years? Um, it's part of the job, first of all. You know, and you know most coaches don't don't read it or listen to it you can't because it's just part of the job you know the team's not winning we're two and four and that's that's part of the territory you know obviously coach is a good coach he's been a good coach for a long time you know that, that hadn't changed um it's just part of it you know he's he's coaching he's focused he's confident you know so it's going to turn and um, as a coach you have to just keep your head on and keep working you know right now i think it's 10 teams in the league that has winning records you know so it's a different year it's a it's an even year and this team's in it you know, it, it was a rocky off season, to say the least. You know, so you know to watch this off season and and, and assume it was going to be smooth early, you're a fool. You know, so it, it's it's been rocky. You know, but he's fighting. I'm fighting with him. The team's fighting with him, and um, you know, every week it's different. You know, but it's part of the job. He knows that. I know that. And you just kind of go along. You know, and you keep working and uh, and make it better. You mentioned that the football product. Overall, this league has been kind of just wacky. Sure. I mean, it's been off schedule, low scoring games. Yep. 
and, and some ugly football. What, what do you think that is? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You know, every every year the league kind of adjusts and change. You know, it's injuries play a big part of that. You know, you know, teams are changing yearly with free agency. I'm not sure, but um, it's a competitive league. You know, everyone's good. You know, that offense we played last week that was a serious offense with Geno playing so well. So every week it's a tough out. You know, it's not college football. It's not Power Five football. It's NFL. It's the best league in the world. So you know, every week, if you're not playing your best ball, okay, you can lose. And, and that's that's the problem. And it starts in house practicing and doing things right, and preparing to win. You know, the process of winning is always harder than winning on Sundays. You know, and you know having guys healthy and working that way each week is the key. You know, and to keep pushing. You know, there's been plenty of teams who've been in this spot that's climbed their route, and some teams who haven't. You know, but to have the confidence and the courage to keep pushing, that's the key. You know, and that starts on Thursday with a short week. You mentioned the uh, injuries. Sure. But I mean, this defense since the second half of the Vegas game mm -hmm. has had amazing numbers in red zone, third down, True. points allowed. Yeah. And this might be a knock on wood question, but after getting through some cornerback issues, it's defense overall has been pretty healthy. We have been, yeah, yeah, getting ham back and absolutely. And, you know, having our guys intact for four years, again, I said this, you know, after, after the KC game, you know, I was shocked we didn't play well in that game because the guys had a great offseason, had a great camp. So, um, this defense is playing good football, you know, not not totally uh, dominant, you know, not totally perfect, but they're playing good football because it's it's our guys, you know, it's 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 the fourth year of the scheme, you know, we have a great staff, we have good young players, and they're getting better each week, and it's a it's a mindset, you know, about just just you know being your best every single day and working that way and practicing that way, and playing that way on Sundays. It, again, it's the entire process, it's not just on Sundays, and you know, our young guys are embracing that. You know, practicing, studying, resting, just being good pros, you know, and our staff push it every single day about the process of winning. And that's that that's important for young guys to understand. You got one practice day, you know, what do you hope to see from the guys today? Just good focus. You know, good focus, you know, on 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 a short week like this, your system has to take over. You know, we installed some things about a, a week ago that we put in for this game, you know, so the guys been running a little bit in practice and not running in the game. So just having some Overall perspective on game planning for a short week is, is, is critical, and your system has to be a solid system to take over this week. Because, I mean, as far as putting in new schemes, that ain't happening this week, right? So the things that you've been good at, you know, you push those things out. And to me, the advantage is defense, because obviously it's on our terms. We can bring pressure. We cannot bring pressure. So to me, it's an advantage for defense to, you know, play on these short weeks. So guys talk about, guys talk about the scheme, you know, the defensive game plan. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, that's a joyful coach to watch. To, you know, watch the scheme work and watch players play hard and within it. You know, and our staff do a great job of giving the guys what they're going to see on Sundays in practice. You know, and obviously at halftime if it's not right, we fix it. You know, and that staff's been that way since we've been here. You know, and that's NFL football, adjusting. You know, to what you had in practice. But what you practice that week, you have to nail. That's NFL football. If you don't, you can't win in this league. You know, teams are too good. And the things you had in practice, you have to adjust quickly you know, to uh, get it stopped. But um, you know, our staff does a great job of doing those two things. And our players are confident going to the game. But at the plan, it's going to work. And it, 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 it has, except for the first week. Kind of sort of worked, but not, not well. How about the home losing streak? How, how do you diagnose that? And, and what needs to change? Are there any yeah. constants? That's like, that's a tough question because, you know, for a coach and a player, I mean, that should enter your mind as home or away. You know, again, it's the process of winning and preparing to win each week. And you hope you have an advantage from your crowd, you know, from being at home in your own bed. It's on grass. It's a controlled environment. So, I mean, it's tough to, as a coach or a player, think about that. To me, it's more about the process of getting ready to play games and, and, and playing your best ball each week, you know, at home or on, on the road, you know. You know, obviously, this team's been good on the road the last two years, and at home we, we hadn't been good. But it wasn't about home or away. It's about playing good football, you know, and taking care of the ball, not turning the ball over, playing good defense, you know, uh, you know, playing good D in critical spots you know, before half, at the end of the game. So to me, it's not about home or away. It, it's about playing good football. You know, whether we're here or in San Fran or we're in Seattle, playing our best ball, you know, and that can get in the way of the process, home or away. Who, who cares? Play your best ball each week and every day. 
you know, and that's that's the key, in my opinion. Thanks, PJ. Oh, we'll take one more. One more. I hope. Again, it's a short week. You know, Marco had a good day, and Ham's coming back. You know, strong. But if Trayvon's ready to go, he'll dress. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right.